Channel 957. You're a little ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, you're a lot ridiculous. Wait, come on. Come on. Mm. Here's the deal. I'm one day away from eating as much stuffing as I want, and nobody can say anything. <laughs> uh, I know. Are although, you happy about it? I am happy, although I've been reading article after article after article talking about how bad stuffing is for you mm. and to avoid stuffing and don't go for seconds of stuffing. <sighs> This is exactly the day that we watch all that anyways. I, I go for like fifths of stuffing, yeah. Nick. This is the day. You're right. They say, I just read something that said, just fill your plate with veggies and drink lots of water before you start eating. Totally. And then you'll eat less stuffing. Yeah. It's all moderation. Also, I saw somewhere somebody said, make sure to eat a big breakfast and a big lunch uh -huh. so that you're not so hungry for all the turkey and delicious stuffing. Which, isn't that why we don't eat a big breakfast yes, and lunch? Because we want we want to dive in. all turkey. We want to dive in. This is our holiday. This is our holiday. This, this is our holiday. What does that mean? We're just going to own it. Oh. We own it. Nick knows. Nick is beyond his years. <laughs> Nick knows this stuff. We got a busy day today. We do have a busy day today. We got today. our gobble off. What time is that happening? Gobble Connie? off is happening at 7:30. All right, we have uh we got our 9:30 $500 Meyer Christmas shopping mm -hmm. spree. We got movies today cuz it's kind of like a Friday. Horrible Bosses 2 and Penguins of Madagascar. Oh my goodness. They're hilarious. So we will do uh, Penguins tickets at 6.30 oh and then goodness. Horrible Bosses 2 at 8.30. Like we have a schedule? Every 30 today. 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. All right. So We're go back to busy. bed. Uh, flip on the uh, radio again <laughs> in about uh, 17 minutes yeah. and uh, you'll be ready for those tickets. We'll just play music. No. No, we got to talk. We, we got to talk. We're still here. This is our uh, last show before Thanksgiving. I know. Because it's tomorrow. How much more do you think we're going to weigh when we come back on Monday? Ugh. Me, six pounds. Six more pounds. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm going with six. Wow. You? I'm probably going to be in around 10 more. 10 more? I don't want to be, but I'm going to be. Because <sighs> I can't even like do any exercise. Because that would involve going outside. And I didn't eat it all yesterday, though. What? You Except fasted? Except for the spoon after I was done making cookies. Oh, my goodness. And how many times did it go into the uh, the batter? Just at the end. Just one time. After I was done making all the cookies and then whatever was left in the pot. And you licked that pot. You didn't eat anything else? <sighs> I had an orange for breakfast. Delicious. Yeah, I don't think you need to eat more. I don't think I no, I don't. <laughs> I ate so I don't much. think I ate anything else yesterday. No, because I was just go 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 go, and I didn't even okay. think about. It. I need more days like that. You were just busy <laughs> yeah. and you're working. Uh huh. Like I like the people on Survivor. You're always like, how can they right. starve themselves like that? But it's because they're always doing something. They're always busy. Right. Mm -hmm. They aren't thinking about how hungry they are. And then once they start thinking about it, mm -hmm. that's when they get voted off because yes. they can't do the challenges. Yeah, I guess that's what it was like. Survivor with me yesterday. We had clean out the fridge day because we're going to be gone today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and coming back Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we just ate anything that was in the house. You'll notice... I brought a banana to work today. You did? Where is it? It's in uh, a different room, but oh. it is here because... <laughs> How will we notice? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. We need to go for a walk so we can see yeah, Curtis's if, if, banana. If you walk around and you see my banana somewhere, that's because... because it was going to go bad because, because... we had a bunch of bananas. Yeah. Uh, not like a lot of bananas, but that's what you call a group a of... A bunch. So we had yeah, a bunch of... bananas. explaining. You're welcome. We had a bunch of bananas, and uh, I'm like, I'll take one of these to work. So I'm going to do that. And That's awesome. I, I almost brought two and some Sprite because uh, Nick oh, has challenged me yeah. to that Sprite challenge. Uh -huh. But I don't feel like throwing up before driving for six hours. No kidding. No, you don't want that. And then Nick brought us beer today. Nick yeah. is the beer bringer. Curtis was like, let's, let's chug our beer. I'm like, you're getting in a car and driving. Yeah. Well, Katie knows how to drive. She's <laughs> a licensed true. driver. That's true. There's Be a bit of alcohol in the, those beers, too. And they're the biggest bottles I've ever seen of mm -hmm. beer. <laughs> like, how much beer is in this? 70, 50 it's milliliters. It's like a liter. So it's like a, uh, it's like a bottle of wine. Yeah. It's like a bottle of uh, Jack Daniels right there, except it's beer. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. That's not no what problem. we need to be doing I'm today. I'm going to drink that today. That'll Although, be, uh, isn't this a big party night? Oh, well, yeah, because oh, yeah. the night before Thanksgiving, everybody's coming home from college. I'm right. going home. I'm going to sleep for like six hours, and then it's all party time. You're going out. Yeah. For now the you... next four days, it's all party time? Uh, no, tonight, and then tomorrow's recovery. Oh, okay. Now, you are from uh, Grand Rapids, so do you have a lot of friends coming back into town who are seeing their parents? No, we all didn't really leave. 
Oh, we're, no, we're all here. They're all still okay. here. So we have our uh, crazy meetup with all of Katie's friends on Friday night. Mm-hmm. And we go to a little dive bar, and we pretty much take it over. And uh, we will be there from like 7 at night until they close at 2.30. That's fine. And it's just a, a great time. We've been going there for, I think, like five years now. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good time. All of her friends just converge on this bar, and we just sit there and have a good time. Oh, well, that's so fun. That's like our Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. My parents are coming today, so I'm not going out and drinking. No, you'll I'll be, be drinking at in. home. <laughs> <laughs> drinking at home. What? Uh, what kind? And, of- in fact, I bought uh, the ingredients to my Connie drink for our, our Connie and Curtis Christmas party. So you have white wine. Yep. You have cranberry juice. Yep. And you have some sort of bubbly white stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's what you're gonna serve. I'm gonna yeah absolutely we're yes. gonna we're gonna taste it I'm gonna be a bartender so we have our uh, big Christmas party coming up on the 12th uh, fifteen dollars gets you in it's dinner it's dancing and uh, we had karaoke to, we had to make our own drinks so Connie's is the cranberry wine spritzer mm-hmm. and mine fireball and cream soda <laughs> which we talked to the uh, wave room at uh, Celebration North yesterday yeah. they said no problem they're in for awesome. both cocktails Yay. so they will be like, mine tastes like a, a cinnamon roll. And mine is good for your kidneys. It's great. If you got one of those urinary tract infections, <laughs> drink all of the cranberry wine spritzers you want. That's right. It'll and clear it, that bad boy right oh, up. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it hurts when That's you pee, what I was, I drink with me. And that'll be Connie's <laughs> shirt. That'll be my shirt. It hurts Connie's when shirt. you pee, drink with me. Yeah, that is your saying I think that's day. a different thing. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what a urinary tract infection feels like or, or what I, happens. Nor do that. I. Nick. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Tell us about it, Nick. It's real bad. And then you get this medicine. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it besides describing the actual feeling, and we don't want to get into that. It's burning, right? It's, it's burny, and it hurts, and it's just awkward, and you always feel like you have to pee, burning even though you don't have to pee. Oh. And then you take this medicine, and the fun part is you get to pee orange. Oh, that is the cool part. That is oh, fun. That sounds like a blast. Because you're dehydrated. I right. pee orange sometimes after like a Saturday night. No, this is up. like this is like neon orange. <laughs> this oh, is why you guys need. Turns this is why you orange. need my drink, men. Yes, men. <laughs> Birds when you pee, drink with me. That'll be Connie's little sign. All right, you can get your tickets to our Christmas party at my channel ninety five seven dot com. It'd be fun, like she said, karaoke. I was talking to a friend of mine. Okay, so her sister is getting married. The next day, thirteenth, and um, she, her sister, called her and said, "We need to go to Connie and Curtis's Christmas party." Yes, and she said, "You do realize you're getting married the next day, so? right?" Oh, and and like you may be having a rehearsal dinner Come and on. whatever, and she's like. Well, maybe they could have it at your party. Yes! Oh, how fun would that be? Because I think they are going to do, uh, they're having karaoke at their wedding. So you make a. They're going to do karaoke two nights in a row. If you turn it into your uh, rehearsal dinner. Yeah. I mean, we have dinner. We have dancing. It's 15 bucks a person. You've got a cash Twisted bar. Twisted Rooster is a. Uh, uh, catering. Catering, thank you. Clear up the urinary tract infection before the <laughs> wedding. I mean, you are sad. And I got the fireball and the cream soda. It yeah. tastes just like a super red hot cinnamon roll. Uh-huh. Like, it's red hot. Uh-huh. I had a couple more of those last night. Did you? Mmm. Mm. So good. Hmm. So good. Hmm. Ooh. Nick, you need to try that over the weekend. The uh, fireball and cream soda. I'm going to give it a shot. Just go for it. You know, and the more fireball you add, the less it tastes like a cinnamon roll, but you don't care. <laughs> like five or six down the line, it doesn't bother you. You don't care what. And then you're just not even putting any cream soda in there. Then you're just you put a ice in it? Fireball. Ice, yeah, it's a cocktail. So it's not a shot. Okay. So it's a, it's a sip and drink. I'm sorry, I won't be trying your drink. Well, you should because it tastes just but like I don't a like cinnamon whiskey. roll. Ooh. But you like cinnamon rolls. I love cinnamon rolls. You wouldn't even know there's whiskey in it. It's like when you eat a uh, a rum cake. I don't eat rum cake. Oh, you should. Because I don't like rum. <sighs> I mean, I like stuff like that in a mixed like a. <sighs> Do you like you like rum chata? That's rumish. Yeah, it's yeah, but it's so watered down and frou frou mm. It's just milk and rum. Do you like Malibu? Yeah. Yes, but it has to be mixed with a lot of things. Okay. Like a I don't lot really of like a lot of liquor. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like tequila, but I will drink a margarita because you can't really taste it that much. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink. Why are you looking at me like? I don't drink tequila at all. Yeah. So just... he, he wouldn't even touch a margarita. No. Uh, I would. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like like things that taste too tequila-y. Okay. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought you do like tequila. No, I don't like tequila. You don't like liquor. I don't really like liquor. Okay. If I can't taste it, fine. I love it. <laughs> that's what, that's what oh, my drink is all which, about. Which, by the way, uh, did you see that the FDA approved 
any okay any business any food business or fast food place or or restaurant that has over 20 um chains 20 different okay. restaurants 20 restaurants or more they're gonna have to start putting all the calories for everything and that includes movie theaters oh my goodness and bars so we're gonna know how many many calories are in drinks they're gonna do drinks yes drinks only if they have a drink menu though right yeah like you'd have to look at it okay so here hold on i have yeah, my thing yeah walk me through this okay so they're gonna require restaurants with more than 20 locations supermarkets that serve prepared foods movie theaters okay and amusement parks to provide calorie counts on menus and full nutritional facts on demand okay they have one year to get it all together vending machine operators are gonna have to do the same thing they have two years to comply to it um and the new requirements are gonna affect booze on menus too so we're going to finally find out how much But booze. I feel like we already know that. Like, if you go to Friday's, it tells you how many But they all don't are... do that. They're going no. to have to do that. Well, if they have 20 or more yep. things. So if you walk yep. into your corner bar that you go to. 20 or more locations. So that means when we go to a movie, we're going to look up and go, oh, how many calories is in that large popcorn with five pounds of butter on well, it? Well, but they they will put it with zero butter because they, oh, right. they do Probably. their one squirt and right. then you take it over to the little side <laughs> and you just butter it Which up. Is that the best invention ever oh where they gosh. gave you your own butter control? They'll start, there'll be a speaker in it every pump. <laughs> 50 calories, 1, 50 calories. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. 6,000, 7,000, 8, 10th, and ding, 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 ding. Uh, and then the medics come. There's a like, big fatty blinking <laughs> sign. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see the movie, sir. You need to come with us. You need to quickly have an angioplasty. Uh, we need to do a bypass stat. We're sorry. You got the cholesterol something fierce. Take a seat, you got sir. the cholesterol. Why don't you lay down? We're just going to walk you out to this ambulance. You didn't want to see that movie anyway. 1800. It's a wonder you can see it all. Exactly. You're butter <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I love butter. Oh. Wake up. Wait.